When building any engine, one of the most important factors to consider is compression ratio. Now, the parts that you choose for your build are designed to achieve a specific compression ratio, but that is totally dependent on what you're doing. Now, simply put, compression ratio is the maximum volume of the cylinder divided by the minimum volume of the cylinder, or another way of putting it, the volume of the cylinder at BDC divided by the volume of the cylinder at TDC. And what makes compression ratio so important? It directly affects the power level and operating range of a given engine application. Generally speaking, the higher the compression ratio of the engine, the higher the potential power output. Higher octane fuels are required for most high compression engines to achieve optimum power output. Strictly speaking, static compression ratio measures volume only, not pressure. There are high compression, low cylinder pressure engines that are designed primarily for fuel efficiency and not just outright power. In our world, we want to generate as much cylinder pressure as possible to increase power. Higher static compression makes this easier to achieve. On the other end, there are actually low static compression, but high cylinder pressure engines that also require high octane fuel. But that involves something called dynamic compression ratio, and that's a topic we'll get into later on in depth. These engines are typically purpose-built race bullets that have to conform to very specific compression rules, but still make big power. There are five variables that affect compression ratio, and changing any one of these factors will raise or lower it. And we're talking about volume. They are, number one, the swept volume of the cylinder. If you change the bore or stroke of a cylinder, you will change the volume of that cylinder and therefore its compression ratio. Number two, combustion chamber size. Increasing it will lower the compression ratio and decreasing it will raise the compression ratio, assuming that no other changes have been made. Number three, head gasket volume, meaning the gasket's bore size and the gasket's thickness. You might not realize it, but the variations in head gasket volume can increase or decrease compression ratio by over a half a point. Number four, the volume of the cylinder at TDC with no other components. In most engines, the piston stops just shy of being level with the deck of the engine block. This small volume of additional space lowers the static compression of the engine slightly. Number five, Piston volume. A dome-shaped piston takes away volume, increasing static compression. A dish-shaped piston adds volume, therefore decreasing compression. Now that you're armed with all of this information, the next time you see us talk about compression, we'll show you how to measure for it and how to compute it.